Constantino. Dole. Pound for pound. Now, Freddy, you've said when you met Manny Pacquiao, it was the happiest day of your life. Why is that? Well, you know, I was telling my trainer, Eddie Fudge, one time that, uh, you know, if you're, if you're in a boxing gym, you never know when the next Muhammad Ali is going to walk through your doors. And, you know, then one day Ali walks through my doors and uh, it was real. You know, and he spent four hours here. But then Manny Pacquiao walked through my doors and that was, that, that was my Muhammad Ali. You know, I, I, I was working the mess with one of my fighters. I saw this kid come to the door with a couple of guys and he had, you know, who were his managers, of course. And he came over and he, he says, can you do mitts with me? I says, yeah, sure. So we started doing mitts. After one round of mitts, I said, wow, this kid can fight. And after one round, he went to his manager and said, we have a new trainer. And then we started working together every day. And then they were almost ready to go home because they weren't getting uh, any um, offers for, for fights. But then Ledwaba's opponent had fallen out, and Manny was the next available opponent. So we 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 went to Las Vegas and had our first fight together with one of the toughest guys in the world at that time. He was really really well feared. He was almost ranked uh, in the pound pound list. Yes, as a pack, I was gonna knock this guy out. Wow. And they came up and they're laughing at me and they're afraid. Don't waste your money. He says, this kid, Lebob is going to kill him. I says, you guys don't know, this kid's special. I says, there's something special about this kid, the way he works and so forth. I says, he's a great puncher, he has speed. And uh, I was very confident man, he was going to knock him out. In your opinion, what's your favorite weight class of the man that he was in? Um, favorite weight class for Manny, probably 130, 130 135. I, I like him at, at those weight classes, you know. But, you know, at, at 147, he does have one of his greatest compliments ever because I do have one, I don't have a lot of like statues and stuff like that in my house, you know. But I have one boxing one and I have Manny Pacquiao, gloves when he beat Oscar De La Hoya. I have a picture and then I have a caption that says, you're too fast for him, son, he can't handle your speed. That was my quote. That's what I said in the corner. And that's... I can tell you something. I've been in boxing just my whole life. Not my whole life, but you know, at least for 10 years. I must have heard that at least 10 times at different boxing gyms. Oh, really? Yes, I swear to you. When, when, when kids are sparring and the smaller kid is too big for the taller kid or bigger kid, I hear that all the time. Oh, wow. I promise you, I'm not lying to you. I think I might be the first one to have said that. Uh, on TV at least, yeah. Should have trademarked that. <laughs> but um, so you know, it was a great win, and uh, um, it was, I mean, you know, they, they were fighting a, a big 147 pound. And the funny thing about that is, I trained Oscar for the Mayweather fight less than a year before that. Wow. And, when I when when uh, Bob Arum called me up and asked me if we if he thinks that Manny could fight Oscar, I said no at first. And then I started thinking, and I says, you know, when when Oscar had trouble with those couple of sparring partners that I, that I had in Puerto Rico, who were left-handed and short and very fast, then he says, oh shit! I says I got to call him back. I called Bob back at two in the morning. He said, Bob, take that fight. He said, why? I said, just, we'll, 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 we'll take that fight. We can, we can win that fight. Because I saw that Oscar had trouble with southpaws, first of all, and he had trouble with small, fast, speed, speed guys. So we, we took the fight. Right. Last topic I want to touch before I let you go, Freddie. Um, another accomplishment, which is huge, is that, you know, as soon as the New Year hit, Manny was awarded the first and only fighter to have world titles in four different decades, which is something crazy. Yes, Another crazy. accomplishment I don't think we'll see, maybe ever. Yes, there's a lot of the ones. A lot, I think there's a lot of things that, that Manny's done that we're not going to see ever again. And uh, you know, uh, I get a call from uh, uh, Gibbons the other day, and he, you know, we're talking about you know who's the best guy for Manny style-wise and so forth and uh, so uh, I gave my opinions and so forth and uh, 
Um, I, I hope that one of those fights happens because Manny does want to fight at least uh, at least one or two more times, I'm sure. Um, but, um, maybe, maybe, but maybe it won't end. We, we really don't know when it's going to end because Manny's... His work ethic is still really, really good. What do you have to say about that, though? That, you know, being the, well, the only sure. the yeah, look at what he did to his last opponent. And, and, you know, and there's a couple guys out there that, that are world champions right now that, that, that I feel that he can, he can, he can still beat. And, uh, he, and you know, the thing is, um, the thing is, we, we don't want to be just being boxing. We want to be a competitive fighter in boxing. And that's what me and Manny talked about for a long time. We don't want to just fight anybody, you know, and like and beat up like nobodies and so forth. Right. We want to fight real fights that are meaningful to the world. Right. What would, in your opinion, what would be a great farewell fight? Uh, his next fight, I would like. Uh, actually, I would like like like. Um, the guy he won the main event last week. Daniel Garcia. Huh? Danny Garcia. Danny, Danny Garcia is my number one pick, yes. Uh, a couple guys were picking the guy that was uh, Errol Spence, who's in the bad car accident, stuff like this. I said, well, you know, his first fight back, and they might say that you know, he was sick or he was hurt or from the accident so forth. There's a lot of excuses. There's a lot of. So I think I, I think Danny Garcia is the best guy out there for Manny back now, and he did call Manny out that night. So I like that, and then you know Manny would like to fight Mayweather one more time. Can we get Mayweather back in the ring? I don't think so. I think he's, I think he's a little scared of Manny back out since they since to be Thurman so easily. So that's just my opinion. But um, but Manny's still a, still a great fighter. Still uh, his work ethic is great. He doesn't cut corners, and uh, once he starts cutting corners, I, I, then I'll start worrying. Lastly, anything you want to say, Freddie? I know, you know. Yeah, Manny, you're, you're the greatest thing that ever happened to me. I appreciate the day you walked in my gym, and you are my Muhammad Ali forever.